Okay, the Forensics Rookie Project. Well, the first thing that I'd started to do was um, I got a PowerPoint and we went through the PowerPoint to set the children in the scene, namely that there's been a robbery at an art gallery and this valuable painting had disappeared. And our task was to act as the CSI and try and solve the crime. So the first thing we had were panes of glass with fingerprints on them. So I got the children to make up their own fingerprints. We looked at how you can take fingerprints. We looked at the different types of fingerprints that were available. Um, we looked at so the children could group their own into walls, arches, etc. And the next thing that they did after that was they looked at the fingerprints of the suspects. And they tried to say which suspect fingerprints were at the scene of the crime. The next exercise they looked at was collecting hair samples, which was quite good mm -hmm. hair. And the children had a look and they had to match the photographs which I had up on the overhead projector. Uh, and then they quickly came to the conclusion that it contained human hair, dog hair and cat hair. Uh, and some of them therefore immediately came to the conclusion it was this old lady that did it because after all, old ladies molt a lot and they have lots of pets. Okay, There was some blood at the scene of the crime, so we carried out blood spatter analysis and we looked at the drips up the stairs and we said well somebody is going out the building obviously was bleeding. We also looked at the footprints and using a, a little bit of information that was on one of the, the pieces of uh, paper that we had we came which I think it's 1.47 times the size of the footprint gives the size of the person so they decided it was a taller person. We looked at all of the evidence that we had, we looked at what other evidence we could have got and some of the children said, we would like, well, if you've got blood samples, obviously you'd go for DNA testing, as you would with the hair samples as well. So they came up with their own ideas. And in the end, uh, they came to the conclusion that Daniel Souter had done this, because when you watch the video, she had, one of my children had spotted that she had an elastoplast on her wrist, and she worked in a pet shop. And they thought she knew way too much detail about things, therefore she did the crime. But they really, really enjoyed it. Hello, my name is Emma, and we did the Forensic Rookies project. It was um, like a crime scene with like there were three different people, and you had to find out who went in and stole the painting. Uh, we did blood stains and fingerprints from shards of glass, and we um, looked at arches and loops to see what which matched. And we also had a few um, where I did chewing gum and then um, we checked the chewing gum. My name is Mahib. Well, we looked at fin fingerprints and we just and we looked at hair, like human hair, cat hair and dog hair. Okay. So when you say you looked at the human hair, cat hair and dog hair, how did you do that? We looked at the, the microscope. Okay, so you used a microscope. Yeah. Also, we saw footprints, which um, my teacher brought up uh, five different types of shoes that might have been at the crime scene. We checked it, the size of the shoe and the sole of the shoe, and um, we found out that it was shoe D. We also um, did um, measuring the footprints, and that was really interesting because um, we... We look, we're all looking at um, how like long and what size our footprints were, and it was quite interesting. Like most of the things in it were. Um, the fingerprints. Um, we thought of this little test thing. Our teacher would take a, a copy. Of, uh, it would um, sh show us the fingerprints. We put down our own ones. Like we'd start off with the thumb, and then the, um, the fingers, and then we would take a look at a thumb and the let's say um, the fingerprints and see if they matched. Um, we we're supposed to sit like draw chalk on our on our fingers, and then tape it pull it off, put it on black paper and you would see the fingerprints okay. because um, the case it was smashed so there was bits of fingerprints and blood on the case. Went and like done samples of like teeth print and everything and like we done like chewing gum and then we had to like pick who we thought the person that went in and stole the painting was. Well um, we got this like sort of chewing gum thing and we looked at it and um, we like measured the chewing gum we ch checked what sort of like where the tooth was and we also and um, we bent foam cups and the foam cups we 
um, checked our teeth prints, testing for like what our teeth prints were like. Right. We've been doing a case over webcam with other schools to see who stole the picture. The Crooking for Excellence. How does this fit in or not fit well, in? Well, it's got lots of liter literacy, obviously, because having to discuss and work together, it's building up the confidence because as they're working together and they're actually getting success and they're, they're getting immediate feedback. Um, they're working cooperatively. Uh, it's promoting confident individuals. And the other thing is that there's a lot of, quite a lot of numeracy involved, looking at the distances between the blood spatter marks, for example, calculating the size of the footprint, looking at the depth of the footprint, and these sorts of things. Um, of course, you know, the children are able to keep a record of what they've done, which is in line with the curriculum for excellence as well. My name's Leon. Uh, the basic stuff we've been doing is take our own fingerprints and we have bit on a plastic cup. And also, we've been looking at uh, who's um, chewing gum left at the scene of the crime and we've checked teeth marks. What do you think of the project? Uh, I think it was quite fun. Yeah, why is that? Well, it was like mostly about discovering fingerprints and crime and like blood chewing, uh, like chewing gum and teeth bites and all that. And Gemma, what did you think of this project? I thought it was really fun. It was really interesting and it was actually quite fun because um, we were making, like we were looking at things and we do look to Archie's lips and stuff like that in our fingerprints and it was, uh, we were um, like measuring and all that. It was quite fun. By my opinion, I think the project was fun and I think it would help someone if they wanted to be a police officer or a detective in their future life. I had a group of very able primary sevens that came through and three classes of primary sevens. They were here as an accelerated learning programme for able students coming into prim um, from primary to secondary and it was just like a transition day. So we only had them for about 50 minutes, so we needed something to do, so we decided this was very good and they really enjoyed it. How do you know that? Because we got feedback from the children. Um, they, they had spoken to the parents, they spoke to the teachers, and at the senior management team meeting, um, apparently there'd been so much praise of what had happened at the end of the day that it had actually come to the attention of the headmaster and the kids had been going on about it so much they really really enjoyed it but the children wouldn't stop speaking about it to so the guidance teachers it was something that was very very worthwhile the children enjoyed it i enjoyed it and the teachers that did this in the follow-up with the primary sevens during the visit they really enjoyed it and the feedback from the primary sevens was that this was the best thing they'd done all day.